someone is dead. Is it Ethan or Teresa? We don't know. We couldn't get the tarp open on the boat. Well, I hope it's Teresa. There'll be one less member of Pilar's family for me to kill. Lady, one more word out of you, and I swear I'm going to seriously consider throwing you to the sharks, all right? Please let it be Teresa. Please don't let it be Teresa or Ethan. The scream came from over here. Oh, no. What? I was here earlier, and I assumed Ivy went home, but... Ivy! 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 Oh, no! No! My dishes! Oh! Oh! Oh, my beautiful dishes! Stop! Before you wake the girls! Sorry, can't hear you. It's so noisy in here. Oh. to share Fluffy's bowl at breakfast time. You better stop breaking my dishes now! Okay, okay. Besides, I see a window of opportunity to make my mischief elsewhere. Oh, no, no, my curtains, not my lovely curtains! Oh, Betsy Rosso dosed for me. She did? Yes, yes, she did. Before she made the first American flag. And then the girl got so greedy I couldn't even afford her, so I gave her a good dose of arthritis. <laughs> good one, Tabs. Wasn't it, though? I hate to interrupt your walk down Woo Woo Lane, but Noah and Floma are headed this way. Oh, they see these curtains. It's going to be curtains for us. Oh, they'll, they'll know we're witches. Well, in that case. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, Chief Bennett. I need EMS at the Crane Mansion right away. Yeah, I know you were already out here once tonight. There's been another stabbing. Why would the attacker target Ivy? To distract Chief Bennett, that's why. Ethan? Ethan? Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. I need you. Jonathan needs you. Ethan? He has a pulse. Okay, okay, thank God. Ethan's in bad shape. We need to get him to a hospital. Yeah, you too, Luis. Not till we find Teresa. Well, at least what the sharks didn't eat. Wait, he stopped breathing. How do I tell emergency services to get here? Just say we're somewhere between land and sea. Okay, well, there's no time. There's no time to wait for help, so... Even if you save him, Gwen... Ethan will never be yours. I will make sure of it. Breathe in, breathe out. You give me a life. You are my passion for life. Ethan, don't die. Ethan, I need you. Jonathan needs you. You sure we can't help you? Miguel, just look after Louise. I have to do this. I have to save Ethan. Are you holding out? One minute. How's my mom? She's sleeping, getting her strength back. Thank God we didn't lose my mom. Let's hope we haven't lost Teresa either. Why? Did you try to kill our mother and Teresa? I told you, they deserve to die. Why? What did they ever do to you? That you have to ask. I should tell you, it wasn't good. Ethan, come on, Ethan, don't die. Ethan, I need you. Ethan. Please, 
me leave it. Oh, Rekka, if you don't stop with the chaos, I am going to use magic to torture you before I send you back to the netherworld. No, Tabitha, no magic. We promise Miguel. There is plenty of room in my torture chamber for the two of you. This no magic nonsense is the reason that the demon elf is still here. And the chaos he's causing is going to reveal you as a witch to your brother and Miguel's little sister. Listen, you. For the last time, if you don't stop with this chaos, I will see to it myself that you are used as a fire starter when Kay and I are bound at the stake. Someone's coming. Where can I hide? You know, Esme, I'm sort of surprised that you know first aid. Yeah, well, I took a crash course when I um, became Vicky's guardian, so I'm getting pretty good at... Oh. Well, thank God your wounds were superficial. I know, my scream must have scared off the attacker before he could really hurt me. Ivy, did you get a chance to see who it was? No, Sam, I was turning around to look when I fainted. Damn it. I'm sorry, Sam. No, 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 it's not your fault. What a fiend we have on our hands. If Vincent were dead, I'd suspect it was him. What's that noise? It sounds like somebody's dragging something. Mother of Pearl, perhaps the attacker has killed again and is trying to dispose of the body. You two, stay here with Ivy. You hear me? I feel like we're living in some Agatha Christie murder mystery. Mayhem now, you will suffer my wrath. How many times do I have to tell you to stay away from I me? I can't have you thinking that I cheated on you with Fancy. Bloody hell, are they still flogging that dead horse? I know what I saw. You and Fancy were kissing on the wall. She ward. was kissing me. Okay. Please tell your brother to stay away from me. Oh, my me. God, please tell Paloma that I can't. Noah says he loves me. I do love you. Only I don't love him anymore. Please I tell... I hate him. Tell her that she cannot mean that. <laughs> tell Noah that I do and that I want him to stay away from me. Tell Paloma that away. I will not stay away from her until she forgives me. As you can see, we have plenty of chaos around here without your adding to it. Mm. You! Stop! I know an excellent mortician, Gwen. Shut up! Oh, oh he's in! Oh, God! Thank you, God! Okay. Oh. Well... Oh, where's, where's Teresa? <coughs> Go ahead and tell me. I need to know. Is Teresa okay? Where, where is she? Where's Teresa? Where did you guys find her? Where is she? We don't know. We didn't find her. Found you, and then we came back ashore. You almost died. I mean, I had to give you CPR. Where? Where? I, wait, wait, I found her. I found her. And then this, this, another shark came by, and I lost her. Lost her how? I don't know. She was she was right there with me. I turned around. She was gone. I think the current took her out to sea. And then, and then another shark came around, and I was dealing with that, and then she was gone again. That's all I remember. Then how did you wind up in this town? Gwen, I don't know. I don't even know how I ended up in this thing. I think I think I drifted into the boat's debris field or something. Doesn't matter that we got with you and guys. We're gonna find. Wait, wait, wait. You oh, are too weak. No, Gwen's right. You stay here. I'll rejoin the search. Okay? We both will. No, Luis, you you're hurt. <sighs> Luis, what the hell happened to you? It's just a uh, shark got a little taste of me. Listen, you stay here with Gwen and Mama. 
Keep an eye on Juanita, and we'll go find Teresa. Is Pilar okay? Good. Look, find her, all right? I can't lose her, all right? Find her? Please, God, they've got to find Teresa. Stay away from me. I'll take our restraining order against you. Oh, you can't be serious. I don't know what else to do. Your brother won't leave me alone. I'm trying to prove that I love you. <sighs> Is that what the flowers on the chocolate are for? Yes. Did you say chocolate? Do you think some stupid flowers and candy are going to make me forget that I saw you making out with Fancy? If you don't want that chocolate, I'll take it. Here. Enjoy. Give me some of this. Evil. My love for you is real, Paloma. What you saw between Fancy and me wasn't. Please know that. And, and please forgive me. Rebecca! Well, Sam! I mean, normally I would love a strip search, but... I don't have a whole lot of time. What's with the trunk? Uh, uh, well, what, what trunk? Oh, <laughs> that, yeah. Well, um, see, I was going away on a, a, a trip, a very, very last minute. I was trying to leave when we kind of bumped into each other. Well, normally I would ask you where you're going, but, uh, I think it's best that I don't know. Yeah, yeah, uh, a good, a good idea. I'll, uh, I'll send you a post <laughs> Um, <clears throat> did you know that Ivy was attacked? Sexually? Oh, my goodness, I heard all this grunting and grunt. Did you two have sex? <clears throat> I meant that she was stabbed like you were. Oh. With a long, hard shaft of steel? And not in a good way. Yes. Mine. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, oh. Uh, Esme, uh, listen, I'm in a real hurry, so I don't have much time. Maybe just enough for a really quick makeout session, but... Oh, actually, you know, now's not quite the... Oh, uh, Vicky. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I didn't even see you there? Did all of the commotion just wake you up, scare you? Oh... You see any sign of Teresa? Not yet. Let me check with the Mexican authorities. This is Officer Lopez Fitzgerald, Harmony PD. We still haven't located my sister. The other person who was in the boat with her thinks that the current might have carried her father out to sea. Okay. Well, at least the helicopter's back with more rescue boats. The odds of finding Teresa now are better than they were. But if we find her, she's still going to be alive. She has to be, Luis. She has to be. Oh, God. I gotta, f I gotta find Teresa. We gotta find her. She's gotta come back to me. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. That Teresa washes up on shore like a dead squid. What are you doing here? I mean, who's taking care of Jonathan? Even he's fine. He's with my mother. He's with the nannies at the mansion. The mansion. Another piece of the puzzle. Look, I thought I could help you and the others. You know, I'm still your wife. It's just I wish you would have stayed home. The situation out here has become a lot more dangerous than we all thought. Ethan, you know, I, I had to come here and help you. Couldn't let anything happen to you. Jonathan and I, we love you and we need you. I lose Teresa. I've lost everything.
eat as much as you like. With any luck, you'll explode. And I won't have the trouble of getting rid of you. Me out, Stabby Cat. Shut up and chill. I want to believe Noah. I want to forget this ever happened. But I can't. Say that you forgive me, Loma. Please. Even if I did, and I say if, I couldn't forget this is the second time that I caught you and Fancy together. And spare me the strange things happen in harmony. But they do. Think about what happened to us here in Tabitha's attic. Of course I remember. We found love in a box and ended up making love. Exactly. All I'm saying is that if you admit that there's strange things happening to us, you have to admit that they're happening to other people. Like Fancy and me. But don't just take my word for it. Even Luis said that Fancy's been acting strange. And Teresa. Teresa's been acting strange, too. You know, uh, maybe there's a bug going around. Fly in the ointment, to be exact. Call me names, will you? Paloma see this. I hope, I hope they don't think it's for real. You're a dear. Oh. How are you feeling? Oh. Well, I'm just thankful that my knife wounds aren't life-threatening. There's a my. You know, Esme did quite a nice job bandaging you up before the paramedics arrive. I, I hope that drink dulls your pain. <laughs> well, it worked through our entire marriage. It should work now. I see the attacker didn't rob you of your... Humor. It's too bad you didn't see who it was. I know. I would give anything to help Sam solve just one crime. Well, you know, he might just yet. We have this plan to try to catch the attacker. I know. He told me. You're very brave to put yourself at risk. Well, I let Fox down miserably when he was alive. Perhaps somehow this might atone for that. Well, Julian, I'm sure Fox is very grateful, and I'm proud of you, as am I. I just hope the plan works and the attacker doesn't realize they're being set up. Um, I have some foam earplugs you could wear so all the noise stops waking you up. Would be good? Not many clothes for a trip, huh? Well, um, I was uh, going to one of those... Clothing optional resorts. In fact, uh, you could come with me as my guest. I mean, a buff body like yours uh, deserves to be seen in the buff. What's your rush in leaving? I'm here with Juanita Vasquez. Well, then it's been nice knowing you. What? Honey, if you are there with her, then it is over for us. Uh, listen, I, I gotta go. I gotta pack my bags and get out of Harmony. I didn't want to miss my flight. I mean, I don't know why, but every time, airport security always insists on giving me a strip search. Or, hmm. Or is it me who does the insisting? You didn't stab Ivy and decide to run, did you? No! You leave this table alone, or the tablecloth will be your belly. Look into my eyes, Paloma. You have to see that I love you. Don't tell me what to see. Paloma, the only reason you're not believing me is your own fear of being hurt. Again. I would never intentionally hurt you, Paloma. You have to believe that. I love you. Well, of course I wouldn't stab Ivy. I mean, we're best friends. Besides, I was stabbed by the same attacker. Because I thought you were Ethan. I believe you. Oh, Sam! Okay, okay, okay. Rebecca, oh. Rebecca, Rebecca. Oh. Now, about your trip. Oh, goody, you've decided to come with. Well, you know, I'm sure I have another phone. <laughs> I don't want you leaving Harmony. Why not? Because I'm the police chief, and I say so. Well, couldn't we at least do the clothing optional thing? No. Well, I have a sun lamp in my room. No. Well, how about a hot oil rub? No. I have to go check on Ivy. 
Yeah, well, thanks for ruining my vacation. whole situation with Miguel when I thought that he was cheating on me with charity. But see, it turned out that it was just one of Fox's schemes not to lose me. So? So, Noah is right. Things aren't always what they seem. You know, I, I think that he's a victim of a fancy being weird, just like Miguel was a victim of Fox being sneaky. Just give him another chance. He started it. Did not. Did you? Shut up. But now just behave until they leave. Oh, no. Maybe Kay had a point. And you'll put aside your doubts and, and trust in my love for you. I'm told Teresa could have been carried out into open water by the current. So I want to shift the search to farther out to sea, away from the wharf. My brother and I will search closer to shore. Okay. Talk about frustrating. Tell me about it. Where is she? How you holding up? My leg hurts like hell, but I'm gonna live. Just need to find Teresa. Teresa. Look over there. Look. Oh my god. Where got, are you going? I gotta go search for Teresa, Gwen. No way. You are too weak. No, man. I'm gonna be fine. Ethan. Oh, God. I can't. I'm useless. Don't say that, Ethan. You did all you could and then some. Listen, rest now, okay? And later, if Teresa is still missing, hopefully dead, you know, you can you can rejoin the search then. Listen, just rest. I'm gonna get you some water. What kind of person am I turning into? Hoping that Teresa is dead and that somehow Pilar never wakes up? Also, I can be with Ethan? <gasps> Bitch! Why are you here? Thanks to you and Rebecca, I almost died and Teresa could be dead! You are going to pay! You and that snake of a mother are going to pay for what you've done! They're circling something. God, don't let it be her. Don't let it be Teresa. You have to believe me, Paloma. It is you that I love. It's you that I want to marry. Stop making such a damn nuisance of yourself. I could make you some delicious pygmies in a blanket. I know a tribe that even the National Geographic doesn't know about. Deal. Oh, what a relief. Yeah. Oh, could have been a lot worse. That little demon elf could cause some serious chaos for no one. Say what? You've given this little imp an idea. So what was all the commotion? Uh, Rebecca was dragging a trunk down the hall with some off-the-wall excuse about going on a trip. Where is it orgy season? Um, I think that Rebecca is, is, is frightened for her life after being stabbed earlier. Well, I know the feeling. Do you think that we should postpone the plan to catch the attack until tomorrow evening? No, I say we proceed. Oh, um, I should probably get Vicky back to her room then. Yeah, um, be careful. I think it's a good chance the attacker may try to strike again tonight. You're strange, dragging that trunk around. Ah! I see all the, uh... 
excitement around here hasn't caused you to clam up again. Your therapist is going to be delighted. I'm not in therapy. Oh. Yes, but you so clearly... Yeah. What? I need a drink. Uh, sweet dreams. My dream is for everyone to leave Aunt Esme and me alone. She's mine. If anyone tries to take her away from me, I'll... Vicky, who are you talking to? Leave my brother and his fiancée alone. Relax, Kay. I won't go anywhere near them. Good. Don't have to. Oh, oh no. What? Oh, you'll see. I'll forgive you if you swear to me that you love me and that kissing fancy meant nothing to you. Of course I love you, Paloma. I don't even care that Fancy's a better kisser than you. If my Teresa's dead, it's your fault, Gwen. Yours and Rebecca's. I'm sure I can use these to my advantage. Why? Look, we don't know if Teresa is dead. Luis and Miguel, they went back out to search for her. Now the Mexican authorities are involved. There's still a chance she could be alive. You're hoping that she won't be. You want her dead, just like you want me dead. So that you and your mother won't be exposed as the blackmailing bitches that you are. Look, I love Ethan. I want a life with him and our son. Is that too hard for you to understand? You think I care what you want? Teresa loves Ethan. She wants a life with him and their son and their daughter. And I want that for her too. Really? Well, what about Ethan? And what about all the pain Teresa's love has caused him? Because of her, he was poisoned twice. Because of her, he's had his heart broken more times than I can count. And tonight, because of her undying love... He almost died. Whenever Ethan is involved with Teresa, tragedy follows. Ethan isn't alone. Tragedy will come to both your lives. I'll make sure. Damn it, I still can't see where those sharks are circling around. It's just better not be Teresa. Mistaking debris for Teresa than to find her dead in the water. So, so damn frustrating. And we got all these resources and still no sign of her. Yeah, this is Lopez Fitzgerald. We're gonna head back into shore and check on the survivors. Call me if you hear anything, okay? Where is Teresa? All right, the sharks are moving away from whatever they were circling. I just need Teresa to come back. Oh, God, I see people. Please let one of them be Ethan. I was talking to myself. Freak? I want Aunt Esme to come with me to my room so I know it's safe to go back to sleep. Oh, I totally understand. I mean, I'm a little on edge myself, having been the innocent victim of that murderous attacker. So I made a mistake. Get over it. Hey, honey. Um, why don't I take you back to your room, all right? Good night, Miss Hotchkiss. Good night. <laughs> Ooh. That kid gives me the creeps. I don't want to hear that fancy kiss is better than I do. Don't be insulted. I'm sure with practice, you can be almost as good of a lover as fancy is. How could you say such a thing? I'm just trying to help you become a better lover. Unless you want me to be bored for the next 50 years. Boom! 
bullseye. This is all my fault. Yes, I'm afraid it is, dear. His royal runtness is tops at causing turbulence between young lovers. Thanks, Tabs. By the way, Alexander the Great told me that it was doing the deed with you that made him go gay. He did not. Gotcha. I couldn't help but overhear my brother, and, and I can guarantee that he does not know what he's saying right now. He's mm. exhausted from, oh. from trying to convince you that he loves you so much. Oh. More than that, uh, something weird just came over me. Paloma, of course I love the way that you kiss. You, you see, it's just another one of those weird things that happen in harmony. Yeah. But why do all the weird things that happen here always break my heart? Well, I finally got Vicky back to bed. Poor well, girl. She's had her life turned upside down, losing her parents, coming here to harmony, and then going through this, this attacker. No. Two attacks in one night. I'm doing my best to parent her, but... I don't know, Jules. I mean, I had a pet rock fall to pieces once. I think you're doing a splendid job with Vicky, and I think once this adoption goes through, you'll be a wonderful mother. Oh, thank you. Mm. I just hope Vicky is strong enough to handle all of this. Oh, I think Vicky is stronger than you know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jules, you have no idea how strong I am. See, Paloma, it's not just me. Kay knows that weird stuff happens in harmony all the time, like it just did. I mean, no one in their right mind would say what I just said to you, but I said it anyway. So when something doesn't make sense, I should just write it off to life in harmony? Yeah, pretty much. I do it all the time. <laughs> So, are we okay? So, I managed to undo your going green with Noah. It's a losing battle, Chubby. Everyone, duck! What? Just do it, duck! Now, we'll just proceed as if. Ivy's attack had no impact on her lovemaking. And hopefully the fiend will strike again this evening with, with me as the intended victim. I hope so. I really want the attacker caught. No one will ever catch me, Aunt Esme. No one. I am not through with you yet, Pilar. You or your family. Cállate la boca. If anyone should end up dead tonight, it's you. You're the scum of the earth. This, from the woman responsible for the murder of my husband and children. And you, Gwen. You and your mother know better. You set this whole thing in motion. You and your desperate need for a man who doesn't even love you. Shut up. You know, even if Teresa is dead, you will never have eaten. Not after I tell him you're to blame for her being eaten alive. Stop it. You know what? Maybe it's not too late. Maybe Pilar and I should kill you together. Hey, still no, still no sign? No. No. No sign of Teresa, but the search is being broadened. Everyone all right? I am. Yeah, me too. 
Yo también, but what happened? I really can't say. Try. Look, broken bowls proves my point. Weird things happen in harmony all the time. Broken stuff don't mean that seeing you in fancy wasn't real. Of course, fancy really kissed me, but I totally deny that anything no, I, came I, out I, of it that I meant I just anything. can't do it anymore. Seeing you in fancy just broke my heart. Just leave me alone, okay? Oh, my... Stay away from me. I thought I was getting through to her. I did, too. You know, I would have got through to her if you'd used some magic to send the demon elf back to the other side. But oh, now you insisted on substituting a herbal remedy. So now... Noah and Paloma's future is in jeopardy, thanks to you. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, just come in and give you an update. The paramedics are still working the accident scene, so I'm going to take Ivy to the hospital myself. Uh, now, don't let that stop you from proceeding as planned, because I have plenty of men around here to, to help capture the killer. doing the right thing, proceeding with the plan, even though Chief Bennett's gone. Yes, I agree with you, but I must say this attacker must be taken off the street as soon as possible. You won't catch me, Jules. We're too smart for that. You'll be dead, and we'll be with Aunt Esme. Are you going to pay when you and Juanita both? Querida Pilar, such big talk for a woman in my crosshairs. You're going to prison for the rest of your life for killing my sister and my nephews. What? And you, Gwen? Your blackmailing may have cost me my Teresa. They say payback's a bitch. Well, you're looking at her. No, we need to get back out there. We need to search for her. Okay. Thanks. All that manpower out there and still nothing. You know, I'm worried if they don't find Teresa soon, they're going to call off the search. No, it's not an option. we got to find her. She's out there. Teresa! It's him. It's him. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. 